Um, most, a lot of kids have it. I have Instagram usually. Um, it's a website, you make your account, and people can leave anonymous comments on it. It's usually for like, just like fun questions, like what's your favorite color, how was your weekend, what sports do you play? But people are like really mean on it, and they think it's funny to anonymously um, be mean to someone and tell them to do things. So the person, put, you, they know who they're posting to, yeah. but the person whose account it is has no idea who's posting about them. Yes, but um, sometimes if you have an account, then you can be posting anonymously on someone's other account. It too. sounds a little bit like a recipe for disaster. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and the hashtag thing, I'm, I'm not really quite, I mean, I know what it is, but like, how do you use that? Like, I see that all the time, and I don't understand what it is. Um, if people hashtag things, you can click on it, and it'll lead to one like page and everything that was hashtagged under that certain hashtag will be left in there okay. so you can see all of the things that have like they usually have common things but within your cyber seas twitter yes. there could be hashtags on uh, bullying about weight or something like that and then yeah. it would be about that topic yeah it'll be about the topic thank you <laughs> Uh, what challenges did you ladies face working on this group project? Did you find any, any particular challenges? Um, it wasn't really, there weren't really many challenges, just kind of picking a topic. And then once we got the topic, it was pretty much smooth sailing from there. Okay. And how did you decide on that topic, the cyberbullying? Um, well, I have been a witness to someone being cyberbullied and I kind of know how, like, how my, like, his, she was one of my closest friends and kind of know how she felt and everything and how bad it was, how serious it can lead to, um, and it's, it's actually really, like, bad and everything. And they, she, she felt really, really bad afterwards, even though she was only asking the person to, um, like, she texted them, at, like, really late and they were at a sleepover and she was only asking for, um, she was only asking to see if she wanted to go, like, she, she wanted that person to go to her birthday, and they decided to say something really mean back to her, like, you could have woke me up, I, was, I could have been asleep or whatever, and it was kind of, it kind of just went from there. And the, the person that was being, the person that was cyberbullying my friend, she, they were like, oh my god, you're a stalker, and it was kind of really bad. So it's an issue that's pretty personal to you. Yeah. <laughs> That um, you chose the particular girl, Hannah. Was there a reason that you chose her, or and was there anybody else you were considering? Or yes, well, her mainly because of the Ask FM website. That is like that's one of the biggest websites that people are cyberbullied on. Probably because of the anonymity. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you can go. How do you guys feel on this public speaking project went? How do you compare it to other times that you have done a presentation like this in class? Do you think you're more prepared or? Well, like it improves on my public speaking because before I couldn't really say it with ease. Like right now, it's like pretty easy for me because we learned so many things about it. So it can improve on my other public speaking stuff too.